All right, well today I'm gonna to be showing you uh, how to charge up a unit that's low on Freon. This particular one, when I feel this uh, suction line, the low side line, it's, it's uh, just barely, um, it's not even cool. It's just, it's uh, you know, like room temperature here. Uh, so uh, we're low on Freon. Um, got my standard set of gauges here and I've calibrated my gauges so that they show zero and I got my refrigerant can of Freon on top of the unit and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get set up here and show you how to hook this up. line side. Uh, I can usually tell by feel when it's starting to get cold and what we're looking for is for it to flash uh, when it just flashes really ice cold um, and uh, to charge the unit up. Also again we're looking for ambient plus 30 degrees on the high side. 
So this can take a little while. Um, I can show you a few little tricks on charging the unit up. One way to get it to charge faster is if your compressor is hot to the touch on the top here, which this one is, it's been running low on Freon. You can pour a little cold water on the top of the compressor, being careful not to let it touch the electrical contacts. Um, or if you had an ice pack, uh, to put an ice pack on the compressor, that'll speed the refrigerant charge. Also another way is uh, having shorter hoses helps. Um, sometimes these hoses, they, they send you with a, a six foot hose line and that's gonna you know, cause you to take longer to charge the unit. I like these little short ones. These are, these are three feet, perfect for me. Uh, but obviously there's some situations where you need the longer hoses. And some people might disagree with me, but anyway, uh, this is how I like it. Makes it nice and easy for me. So it's pretty hot out here. I'm gonna drink a little water myself. Okay, a little water for me. A little water for the compressor here. Speed things up. You can see it just sizzling off. That, that's how hot this compressor is. It's just been running uh, low on Freon. So we're only at 110 on the high side. This is gonna take a while. On the low side, looking here at the dials, you've got different colors. Uh, dials. The inside one is purple for R502. This green ring is what we're looking for to match the can of our refrigerant, which is R22. 